Okay, Haskell Editor. Um, and um, before I, I go into the demo, I just want to say it's an open project, so um, I'm mostly responsible for what you will see now, but not not only. Um, right. So let's see. It's all here that so John Bill actually have done this work now. I'm doing a live demo, it's, it's taking a lot of risk now. So uh, let's suppose I, I open some Haskell file and we try to find one that doesn't exist. Yeah? So I can. It, for, first of all, it works, right? So I, can, <laughs> I And I can type stuff and uh, there is some. Uh, Haskell support, so you see the, the, ni the, the nice colors for the keyword. And um, let's suppose that I define a function, and as everybody knows, it's going to be in a monad. Um, so I use the two notation. And um, so the good thing with D is that it, it sort of understands the syntax. It doesn't just do uh, regular expressions and stuff like that. There is a real parser behind it. So it knows that I should probably write stuff at this column now. So it also understands uh, the layout. So uh, I think this is the first editor that actually understands the layout. Uh, it's, it's, uh, so here I forgot the arguments. So let's suppose I add some arguments. And <laughs>
Um, yeah, I'm doing this for live in here and we'll see how helpful it is to tell me that I'm messing up the, uh, <laughs> uh, the things. So I probably want to find this to L or something like that. And decrease. Yeah. And now uh, yeah, I can just do it like this hopefully. Yeah. And I decrease the thing. So I will do it in a very uh, <coughs> unsafe way by doping the first character. <laughs> yeah, is that right? So now I, I, I did this, uh, created a new version of the configuration, and I will. I need to restart the editor to uh, uh, to load it. So hopefully, so what it does is. It's recombining the, um, uh, the configuration file for you. And hopefully now the, the function will be available. So let's suppose I, yeah, so this worked before. So let's see if we can, oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, right. So here, the, the meta head is already bound in Emacs. So I think I have to use some, some sort of other operator to work. Um, <coughs> to make sure that the one has a lot of priority. So how will I do this? Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it will be something like this. And we will see live, okay, no, it doesn't like that. So it Oh yeah, right. Yeah, 
so this I, I told you that there was uh, <laughs> so the, the language based about this has proper lexical analysis, syntax analysis, does some kind of stuff to uh, yeah, recover from errors, and this is used in the Haskell, instantiated in the Haskell support. I told you that T is a library. You can configure it the way I did. So in contrast to Emacs, where you have a big block of space and you just change it, here we just we, we have basic blocks and they are constructed in a in a fairly nice way. Um, I told you about the parcels. We put we create a buffer uh, function. You can actually create uh, functions at like the levels. So all editor and uh, sometimes you can use I/O. And uh, my conclusion would be, you can use it if you are a bit less fancy than I am. There is some hardware support, and if you want, you can try it. Uh, by using Kaban install and stuff, don't uh, come and we tell us about this later on. And these are the contributors. Thanks. Okay, so uh, we're ending this session, but there are some announcements.